Hello everybody, I'm getting ready for all the sweet games coming out in November, and today I'm, I'll be playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, getting ready for WWE 12 as it is now called. Uh, I could not find a multiplayer game for this, so we're going to have to up the bed. We're going to go ahead and have to play a one-on-one -on -one with the AI. I am this guy right here. And uh, I don't know what difficulty it's on. I'm pretty sure I put it on hard or normal. Legendary just like gets annoying, and I don't really want to go through that. I want to more have fun with this video. Uh, anyway, um, I just wanted to say that the multiplayer community, it, it's they have to go ahead and fix the. It's just they use the ser same servers over and over again for every SmackDown vs. Raw game that they release, and. Uh, it's it's just major lag. I was I was playing a game that was it was virtually impossible to play since because of the lag. And uh, they also uh, I understand that they can't really fix everything since it's, um, they have a whole year before they have to make put out another game. But um, they, they could do a better job than that. Maybe get hire some more people, like put some more people on the game to actually get it through faster. And uh, yeah. So uh, I want to talk to you about this one game I was playing the other day. I actually recorded it and I deleted it, so I kind of can't put it on for you. And so um, I was playing a Money in the Bank match as uh, my one other created guy. Uh, I w they had three versus three, and three guys were teaming up on everybody. And uh, I'm pretty sure they were friends, although I couldn't be too sure about that. And uh, uh, it was the Edge guy was um the Sony was playing Edge and uh, he wasn't one of them but he tried to help me at times just because you know we're pretty much getting pushed back by the three guys and um, these two guys were working together the most I'm pretty sure the black guy which was one of the other ones um was uh, just helping him just for the hell of it and yeah the multiplayer is just kind of annoying and every time i try and join one i don't have the same downloadable content because i don't have fan access i i don't i don't want fan access to tell you the truth and i i i know they could probably go ahead and uh have us actually join games with uh different downloadable content just that they want you to spend your money on on everything that they put out so um yeah, uh, every, I, w I don't really like Road to WrestleMania. Road to WrestleMania is another thing I want to talk about. Road to WrestleMania is not fun, and the only thing I had fun with was the created character Road to, Road to WrestleMania. The other ones were so boring that I, I just the only reason I wanted to get through them because I am an achievement or and I wanted to get those achievements, so I went ahead and did that. That was just a complete waste of time. I spent through it as much as I could. Uh, it was easy. I always buy every of these games every year because of the new stuff they have. Not a lot of new stuff, but a decent amount that can actually keep me going in the game. Also, you can check out here that the ma song kind of matches up perfect with this. I don't like Randy Orton, but that matches up perfect. Just perfect. Flawless. I don't know if you could hear the sound that good because I'm still in the recording process. And uh, it's kind of annoying to record and make videos because it takes six hours to upload for a 15-minute video. And I put a decent amount of uh, videos up so I could go longer than 15 minutes, which is good. I have more time to talk, which I know you find that sucks. I talk too much. That doesn't matter. I started this game getting uh, really reversed, as you can see here. But I turn it around right there. And, uh... It just, I had some really good moments in this game that I really oh, wow. wish I would have put on uh, the highlight reel, but uh, then again, I was recording, so I couldn't go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm glad the in the, the game they took out um, those these three really annoying moves 
that were the striking spear, the buzzsaw quick kick, and the head attack, I think they all took out, which were all really annoying when it came to multiplayer. Although, they probably didn't do it because of multiplayer, they just take out moves just for the hell of it, they just, they've been taking moves out, so many moves, they had like a bunch of moves in 2008, which is a first WWE, well, second, but the, my first WWE game was 2007, and uh, that kind of got ruined after one night after I knocked my Xbox over. Um, but, it just take out all the moves, and just, it's... Uh, why would you do that? Why would you take out the moves? I mean, I know that Superstar is getting released and everything, but come on, really. I want to customize my character more. Thank you very much. I hope you, if anybody actually comments, I would like to know what you think about my creative characters here. The, those are just two out of like 20 that I made. All, I didn't waste too much time on all of them. I mean, they, were, they were actually really quick since I, some of them I made the year before and some of them I spent actual time on because I just first ma making them. And uh, the moveset I also didn't waste too much time on, but I got a decent amount of moves in there. Um, and uh, I, I think I went for a second spear there and um, I'm sorry about that. I was going to go for my main move, but I did that instead. Right, yeah, right here. What a battle this has been. This no disqualification, anything goes match. Oh my god, he's going for it. Spear! Spear! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is just the, the biggest match we ever had in WWE history. That has been repeated too much over the years, because apparently we can't just, apparently it gets better and better every time when it really does not. I know the WWE sucks now, but we will get better in the future. I I keep coming back every week just to watch and just be disappointed for some of the things on there. Some of the others just really funny. And we got some decent matches. I watched the pay-per-views. Pay-per-views are actually all good. Randy Orton, though. Randy Orton, just a, just a big, big thorn right there in the side of the WWE. He got Mr. Kennedy fired in the first place, and oh, um, he's on the move again. he has the most annoying move set ever. Now back under the Takes ring. no he skill to execute any of those moves, and he is booked to, to win every match. Um, I think uh, on Monday he lost, but that was from a distraction, and the last time he lost before that was also by a distraction. So I could, I don't unless it's by distraction. This uh, pay-per-view this Sunday, I don't. I think Mark Henry is gonna win, which is complete bullshit because it's Mark freaking Henry here. But apparently Randy Orton is Superman and he could take down anybody no matter what. He even took down Kane, although I'm pretty sure that was by distraction on Kane. Kane's losing part. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm really excited to get WWE 12. Uh, I'm, I suppose the name change was because uh, SmackDown and Raw don't even feud that much anymore. Either that or they just got tired of saying SmackDown versus Raw or SBR, which, which uh, is not really, you know, annoying to say. And uh, the basics in this game are pretty good. Like, I just dropped them on that on that ladder and you, you, you get injured right there. I can't believe everything that's going from move here. So the match physical. is almost done, I believe. Although I'm not gonna go ahead and spoil how it ends for you. So I don't wanna do that because I am not one of those match. guys who pretty much tell you how how uh, this game goes before he even the gets the video started. Those people are kinda retarded. And I, they get more views than me. I don't even understand why. That's not fair. I, I actually pay attention to other commentators and see what my mistakes would be if I would make them. And I, I don't have a lot, a lot to talk about. And I never make a script. I just pretty much go with the flow and uh, keep on going. Sorry for my repeated words. I probably apologize. But I am just trying to make the best of my capture card, which I spent $70 on. And, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Concerto. 
Oh, yes. that's, that's, he's gotta have a that's, that's got hurt. Oh, I am playing exhibition one-on-one -on -one tables, ladders, and chairs. If you somehow didn't oh my notice gosh, what, what's already, he, he's placed and I want to remind you that the one the in the purple pants is Mullet Man, oh, and the, the one all black is for the Phantom. In case you did not pay attention to the entrance. And I also apologize again. for the small screen, uh, as you can see there, it's smaller than it should be. That's just a you lead video studio screwing me up when I'm trying to put the best quality on here. It's, uh, really sorry for that. Although I think it's a decent video player and I, uh, use Audacity recording my voice. I just watch the video while recording, which is kind of out of sync sometimes, but it's okay. And, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, back to SmackDown vs. Raw. This is a pretty good game year after year. Only because it's actually more entertaining than the WWE itself, actually. And, uh, they don't even really have that many extreme matches anymore. When it comes to the live events, Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown, just the pay for views. But, I still will come back every week and watch it. And, uh have a secret that I don't want to tell anybody so you're pretty much just gonna get screwed there nope not telling you and yeah it's it's, it's sometimes fun to watch I might as well just go Here ahead and take again. a bathroom break while Randy Orton's on screen I'd rather watch commercials than him because I know he's just either gonna win or lose by DQ or distraction because he is an ultimate Once powerhouse again, nowadays now that he became the Viper down. I don't know why he yeah, he's the face like the a good face of the WWE, but I I find him better as a legend killer, and I pretty much don't like him at all. Uh, well now this match is over, I'm just gonna have to sign off right here. This is Touchstream five six seven eight nine, and uh, I got more videos coming for you, Grand Theft Auto news, and all your favorites. Thank you. If you like, hit the like button. If you want more, which I'll give you more anyway, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.